So the more you understand about working with this theme, the more you're going to love it. So let's get into understanding how I can make a something, how I can make something very visual, like a timeline. A timeline is a really cool way to do things. So as an example, if I go under blog, I can view my blog in a timeline. Now, once again, if you use their basic elements in layout and theme, then remember all these pages are created with a demo installation. We haven't talked about the other ones. We're just scratching the surface on this wonderful theme. So here we have something in a timeline, okay? July, et cetera, similar to how WordPress, I'm sorry, similar to how Facebook is set up. So let's understand how we can do this. Well, the advantage theme makes is really, really simple. So once again, based on these choices, we can go into edit page. Again, this is how you're going to get really good at this stuff, just picking it apart one step at a time. So we went from shortcut on the very first video to cooking with gas. So notice that this is a blog. Well, where did I get that information from? If I come up here, notice that there is something that says blog, but there isn't something that says, uh, but there's not something that says timeline. So again, similar to what we were talking before with carousels. Those are just different options within that particular element. So if you get to know your elements and get to know your options, it's really a lot of fun. I mean, I, I this is really turning out to be one of my favorite, uh, you know, themes. Ultimatum is one of my favorite themes. I like X theme a lot too, but uh, this is really a work of art. So I'm going to click right here, pencil icon, and that is simply one of my options here. I can view this by grid, by all, large alternative, medium, etc, etc. So post per page. Now, where is it going to get its information from? It's going to get its information from how and when that particular post was created. And it's going to pick its time, July, August, September, etc, etc. So it's really simpler than you think. You can also choose to select different um, categorize, cate categorize, categories. There are six design, there are six creative. If I leave it blank, it'll select all the categories. I'm just going to cancel out of that because we haven't made any changes. So just to share with you how simple that was to do. So I went into here, and if I was to do that from scratch, you can just pick timeline and how many posts per page you want based on these choices. Okay, so I'm going to cancel on that for a second. Now, keep in mind, I'm going to hold down the control key for a second. I'm going to go up to post, and I'm going to share with you. I'm going to hold down the control key or right-click Windows, and I'm going to go to tab for a second. Just to share with you how many posts I have in here. And the posts are going to be set up by the date that they were created, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, except for the posts that were already predated from the installation of Advantu um, uh, sample content. So if I go back up in here and I hit preview pages, you will see how it's going to make that particular timeline. It's going to make a timeline out of the post. So as an example, the oldest post on here was the classic whole world, which came right from WordPress installation. Then it put other timeline features here as well. July 2012, and that's really where it ended. So whatever post you put in there. So as an example, if I was to make a brand new post, and we'll just call this post Emily. Emily post, the guy's hysterical. Anyway. So I'll just put here, I'll just put a, uh, add some media here just so we have something visual to work with. And we'll just put this nice piece of whatever kind of pie that is supposed to be. And publish. So now if I come up here to my pages, I'm sorry, if I go back here to my home page and I go up to visit site, I shall leave that, leave that page, and I go to blog, blog, and I go to timeline. We should see, there's my Emily Post. Emily Post, I got a million of them. May 2015. Okay, pretty cool. So, of course, I could have filled that in with other information as well. Uh, now, if you're wondering why... Remember that I put an image in there of that pie, but where is that pie? Hmm, I wonder where that pie is. So if I go back into here, 
I'm going to select this post. Here's a very simple way to do this. Okay. Now I'm going to see that image there. But why didn't the image not show up there? Well, this is a WordPress 101 question. If I click Edit Post, what I didn't do is I didn't make that image a featured image. So if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, here's my first feature image, second feature image. So I can just click right here under Featured Image. I can select that piece of pie, or in this particular case, I'm going to select this pear. And update. Now again, look how I navigated to that. Very simply, right from the front end, use the front end browser and you're back in admin to your advantage. So I simply selected here, I selected the post, I just went right into the post and I can edit the post right from that page. So if I go back up to here to visit site, okay, again it just comes down to working smart, one step at a time, not being overwhelmed. And if I go to timeline, you'll see that Emily Post now has a picture, just like the others have a picture, because those are featured images, featured images for that particular post. In fact, let's do this. Let's go back and select this. Now, notice here is one of my biggest pet peeves, and this is something that most people forget to do. So let's, ex let's examine something. So I'm going to go into my post again. I'm going to go to post, select post, and it's uncategorized. Now, that's not a good or bad thing, but it's kind of like having an untitled document. So I'm going to go back to dashboard. Categories have to do with posts. Now, here's what I want to share with you if you don't know about this. I'm going to go to categories. These are the categories that Advanta put in here for me and have something called uncategorized. Now, important step. Notice I can delete this. I can delete everything, but I can't delete this one because this is my default one. So I'm going to take complete artistic liberty here and call that advanced in fact i'm going to be really i'm going to just copy that and paste that right there for advanta essentials now here's what you want to pay attention to for your for your um this is what the person's going to see but this is what the what the browser i'm sorry this is what google and search engines are going to see so let's call this let's anytime you have the chance with categories especially or your post in general fill it up with what i call word salad so i'm going to say advanta essentials uh, dashboard spelling sometimes helps video training tutorials now for those of you that are wordsmiths going wait a second training tutorials that's the same thing yes but it's good to put in the search engine that way because not everybody searches for tutorials some people search for lessons some people look for training some people look for classes the other thing i suggested too is word salad is up with information anytime you're given the chance to put information into a dialog box in wordpress definitely do it because that's going to help you with your page rankings so if i come back out of here again and I go up here to my page and I'm going to view this post. I'm going to view Emily post. Emily post. Ah. Now, pay close attention. So now I actually put two images. I have two images in here because I'm on the actual page itself. Now let me share with you another feature to this. So if I click right here, that's going to go to edit post. So I have a couple of options. I can choose to get rid of, I'm going to go to visual here, I can choose to get rid of that and make that my second featured image or built into the theme I can come down here and put in a second featured image and that's what I'm going to choose to do. So I'm going to go to my media library, I'm going to pick, uh, I'm going to pick, I'm going to, 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 let's pick, uh, da, 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 da. let's pick, uh, let's pick that one. So let's show that one. And let's put that in at full size. Actually, let's put that one in at medium size. Well, apparently it's not letting me do that. <laughs> and let's insert that into the post. Okay, what did I not do here? So, media library. Let's pick this one. Let's insert that. I thought I inserted that into the post, but apparently I wasn't paying attention. Oh, uses feet. Ah, you know, sometimes I just don't pay attention. What I meant to do is use as featured image. So let's try this for the fourth time and see if Robert gets it right. So let's click here again. Well, I guess I've been doing this too long today. 
and let's use this as my second featured image. That's what I want to do. And so there it is, as my second featured image. I come up here. Oh, I guess I don't need this in here a gazillion times, so I'll get rid of that, and I'll get rid of this. So I'll update the changes. Preview the page, and all is right with the universe. So that was a little side note on understanding um, um, featured images on a post and more importantly doing categories because one of my biggest pet peeves is to have something that's not categorized. So what I highly suggest you do if you really want to advance your skill set with this amazing theme is go through your default pages and just understand my different options. Okay. So, large alternative, whoa world, et cetera, et cetera. Now, again, the reason whoa world doesn't have an image because whoa world doesn't have a featured image. So, again, we can fix that by clicking on whoa world, going right into the edit of the edit of the post, come down here to featured image, selecting a featured image, and we'll just pick this as an example, set featured image. Come up here, update the changes, and preview. Okay, again, the environment can be very overwhelming, but once you understand how it thinks and what it expects from you, now that looks totally horrible, and I'll share with you why that looks horrible. Let's go back to edit post again. Let's go back to our featured image. Let's click on that. And let's see if we can get some options here for our edit the feature image. Oh, because it's making, I see what's happening. It's, I didn't realize that the image was that small and it's just making it too big. So let's actually select a different featured image because we don't want our stuff looking horrible. So let's delete that. Let's select featured image. Set featured image. What, what's happening here? So let's go back into here and let's select that one. That should work totally fine. It's in there. I come up and I update. Incidentally, a little sidebar here can work with images. No image on your website needs to be bigger in depth than 72 pixels per inch or 72 dots per inch. Anything bigger depth than that, like 600 dpi, 300 dpi, complete waste of time. This is not print, this is not desktop publishing, this is web. A television set, a, a uh, computer screen, a bar, a restaurant. Now that was a little homage to Michael Corleone. Um, it does not need to be any bigger than 72 dots per inch. Now, how big it is wide and height wise is another story, but the actual resolution depth should not be bigger than 72 dots per inch because that's all the screen can show you. So I fix that little image there for my post. So let's move forward with understanding more valuable techniques. And notice that my videos are properly named. So if you're searching through my videos, it's very simple to find something because I title them correctly. I will talk to you soon.